happened this morning after being stabbed in an apparent random attack at a Braintree movie theater. The attack may have been one in a string of incidents that are all connected. I-team sources confirm the suspect was wanted for a murder in Connecticut. The same man is believed to then have traveled to Braintree where he allegedly attacked those girls before attacking even more people in Plymouth. He was arrested after his car burst into flames in Sandwich. WBZ's Laura Hayfley has the details. One call right now. Uh, Moviegoers in Braintree forced to run for their lives Saturday night after police say a suspect went on a stabbing spree, attacking four young girls inside of a movie theater. WBZ I-team sources confirming this is the person police believe is responsible. There's going to be more than one victim. I believe there's two or three. This is a lot. Like, I've seen, this is like quite a few structures I've seen go in. This is not good. According to the Braintree Police Department, all four victims under the age of 17 so were rushed hot. to a nearby hospital with so injuries. Hot. The two little girls are crying. AMC employee Nate Lewis was behind the snack counter when the attack began, and he watched as the suspect escaped. I caught like a quick glimpse of like a guy, like he ran into like theater number two and apparently like he stabbed like a... Apparently he stabbed at a couple of little girls there. I noticed like he was wearing a large, tr an oversized trench coat, sunglasses, a, a long, uh, blonde wig. The violence didn't stop in Braintree. Police say a short time later, the same suspect stabbed a 21-year-old and a 29-year-old at a McDonald's in Plymouth. Using surveillance video, a license plate, and a multi-agency effort, police tracked down the attacker's car and began pursuing the vehicle which ultimately crashed in Sandwich Saturday evening. The suspect with blonde hair pulled out of the car, placed onto a stretcher, and taken into custody. It's so heartbreaking. I think that was the first thing that I'm going to be thinking about the rest of the night is seeing those kids coming down the steps and just crying. Despite the suspect's arrest, Mateo Rojas, who was heading into the AMC theater Saturday night, says the damage is already done. And they look really stunned like they just saw a horror movie, not a kid's movie. The four girls who were stabbed are expected to be okay. In Braintree, Laura Haefeli, W.